Welcome back. It's been a while. A lot has changed. Um, I don't even know where to start this video or how to start this video. <sighs> There's been a lot of things happen here on the farm. You know, the crow stocking chickens. Yeah. There's a crow out there. Where you at, big guy? Oh, there's a hawk. Yep. There's a hawk right there. Yeah, you son of a... Mm. He just killed... that think you're getting this you're not get out of here got get out of here Man, you're a brave son of a yeah mama cat you get that hawk Sky predators now. And they're starting to come in, taking trees down, opening up the area, taking away a lot of the. Yeah? Oh, my. He's not done. And we've got the final pieces to the puzzle. There's 14 panels there. Six more over in that shed. That gives us 20 panels to go on top of there. Might be a little tight. Finish a lot of the walls. But this is the start. How are we gonna go? There's where all the batteries are gonna mount on that rack. All those. Today, I'm gonna put the solar panels up on that roof. Tie it all in. My buddy Jeff over here, he'll be here in a little bit. Day two of tying everything together. I'm uh, running behind myself. So I had to employ some help, get everything done. Let's take a look at what we got going on inside. Okay, so what you see here is we've got six batteries. They're 5,000 kilowatts each. It's 30 kilowatts of power. Right there is my split phase by Signier Power. So we've got a 48 volt system. It's sitting at 50, uh, let's see if I can block the sun a little bit there. 52 
2.2 volts is what we've got right now. It's putting out 240 volts over to this bad boy right here. This leg here will feed the house. These two batteries, or two spots here, are gonna run the well. This here is for the lights, that's 15 amp. We'll run another 20 amp breaker in here for an outlet in here, so if I wanna keep it warm in the winter, if it doesn't stay warm enough, but I'm digging it. There's our, where our solar's gonna come into and then go from there, tend into there. Oh yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, I know, there's a lot left to do. It's, you can still see daylight out. It is not weatherproofed from the cold. It is dry. It hasn't leaked yet, it won't leak. Two layers of tar paper, plus the metal roofing. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Pray for me. But uh, yeah. So we've got it all tied up, except for three walls. Two walls. Three, two and, two and a half. There we go. So a little bit left to do inside here. Got to build a door for the front. Then we should be able to bring in this corner. That's where we're going to put the uh, pressure tank and all that. You know, there's our there's our wire or our pipe right there that comes in and goes back out from the previous video. So that's going to go here. Slowly, but surely, we're coming along. Ran our trench right, that way. Goes up to the cabin. Starting to backfill it now. This is direct berry cable right here. It's awesome. We stubbed it out if we need to. Got a conduit coming out that goes right inside there, so it's an easy transition in if we need to. But it's direct berry cable. We can put it right in the ground and never dig there again. Ever, ever, ever. I mean, we can dig there again, but look at that. I gotta get that out of there. It'll come back though. That's mulling. We get tons of it up here. Oh, chickens. I told Jeremiah to make you grab your sneakers. I forgot to grab mine. <laughs> I didn't know if I could find mine. Got their water and chickens with solar power and batteries, no longer using the generator. Hell yeah. Once we bring the ground line right on down from the panels. In. Everything's all up and ready. Got a light switch in here. I can right now we don't have a switch. I'm just using the breaker. Turn the light on. When I want to turn the well on, flip that breaker. But we have got it working. We are tied in. Haven't had to use that bad boy yet. Got it all set up to do it. I'm actually charging through this rather than this. It doesn't have a problem at all recognizing it. And it's made to work with this system here. So what we're using that for is just the solar array. So up here we have uh, 15 panels. We have 
three series, five in each series. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? I got five panels all wired together. Another five, another five. They all three come in and they all go into a combiner and they all go in and make life happy. So, like I was beginning to say at the beginning here, I'm all over the place. This video, <laughs> you'll see I've... I've tried this video a bunch of different times to make it. And uh, we lost our oldest son, Micah. We lost him in March, March 13th of 2023. Um, it's been six months now. And it, it isn't getting any easier. But we've got to keep going. We've got to move forward. Um, more about him another time. We will definitely, definitely talk more about that another time but as for this video um yeah we've had a lot of changes that one that one was pretty profound for us um we sold part of our property i got the tractor that you just saw in the video there um we are now debt free we are 100 percent debt free we own our property outright we had a mortgage before. Um, it was a private lender, you know, owner carry contract. We'll talk more about that another time too. But it's a pretty good feeling. Um, it's kind of uh, <laughs> bittersweet, you know. It wasn't. But now we plan to get here. Uh, we didn't plan to ever sell any of our property, but at this point, what's the point? So. We are continuing forward. We're going to do everything we can to keep this going. Um, as you can see, we've upgraded our solar. We should be able to do a lot of stuff with this. Um, when we first found out Micah had cancer, we started doing freeze drying more. You know, we had, we had a freeze dryer that harvest right. Um, we started doing a lot of freeze drying and then we'd go to the, the um, flea markets. No. We went to the farmer's markets. I want to go to flea markets. There's the difference. <laughs> Freudian slip, maybe? Anyway, we'd go to the, the farmer's markets, and we were selling and doing pretty good at that. Um, everything went downhill from there, so we kind of stopped doing that. point I'm trying to make is we had to run a generator to run the freeze dryer 24 hours for some cycles of things you do. So... With this system that we have now, we're not going to need to. I love it. Just plug it in and let it do its thing. And the batteries should be more than enough to do what we need to do. Anyhow, a lot of exciting things coming. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff happening here on the farm. We're downsizing some. We're upsizing others. Upsizing? You get my drift. So if you like this kind of content, Follow along, subscribe down below, say hi, let me know what you think. See you next time, guys. Get out there and start living your dreams.